you? Your name is what? My name is Alex. Well, how are you, Alex? I'm fine, thanks for asking. This call is about final expense whole life insurance plan, which is designed to cover 100% cost of funeral, burial, cremation expenses. Okay. For any other day, that's your obligation that you may leave. So can I ask you, how old are you? Well, I'm 67, Alex. Uh, who did you say you worked for? Senior care. This call is regarding final expense. Yeah, you, life, you you said you said this the the final expense whole life one hundred percent thing. I just didn't hear what the name of the company was. Senior care, Alex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sir. Okay. Well, how much Senior. does it how much does it cost? Well, sir, uh, the cost is uh, depend on your health condition and your age. So I do have a product specialist. They give you a quick course over the phone that how this policy can work and how much the cost and they give you more detail about this so I have a few questions for qualification purpose then okay. I'll answer your call okay well yeah. a couple, couple things you should know right away I don't really want to be buried or cremated and I've been asking about getting spocked out into space but that doesn't seem to be a thing uh, no one seems to be ready for that yet um, but then too I wondered if I could have a Viking funeral where they just kind of push my body out on a boat and then you shoot flaming arrows at the wooden boat and then it you know um would that be possible? Well, it's not possible from our company because they work only like burial cremation or leave something for their family if you want. Okay, well, I want to leave something. My I want to leave something. Well, I came for my family because, of course, my my wife is, and I are divorced, and my kids are in prison, which is where they should be. But uh, I understand if you can't send me off into space, Viking funeral. See, they hang up. I don't understand why they hang up. Hello? Hello? What? Yeah, this is Mark calling you from Senior Benefits. How are you, sir? From Senior Benefits? Yes. I'm, I'm calling to let you know about a new low-cost final expense insurance plan. That has been approved in your state, and this final expense insurance we are providing you is designed to cover 100% of your funeral and real expenses, okay? Okay. Perfect. I'm just flipping your phone, sir. Just to confirm that, like, how old are you? Did you say you're flipping a phone? Like, sir, I'm just not very calling with a specialist. Before we go, just to confirm that, how old are you? Yeah, but I thought you said you were flipping a phone. I don't, I don't understand what that means. What, what did you say? Just to confirm that, like, how old are you? Yeah, you keep asking me the same question, and I keep asking you the same question. Why don't you answer my question? I thought you said you were filliping a foam, and I don't know what that means. I don't know if I want you filliping a foam. Sir, would you like to go ahead and learn more about this new low-cost final expense insurance program? What I'd like to do is to learn what filliping a foam means. Why don't you just answer that question? I'm, I'm just, I'm just confirming your information. Like, I have your information, like, I have your number, your, like, you're in Wisconsin. No, I don't. Just tell me that. Just tell me that. How old are you? Why don't you tell me what filliping a phone means first? Why do you keep asking me the same question without answering my question? That's not very good customer service. If you're trying to earn my business, you need to answer my questions. That doesn't answer my question. You said fill up in the foam again, and I still don't know what that means. Ooh, snap. You're not yelling at me, cussing me out. Oh, my God. Yeah, you want to know whether or not these final expense calls are scams or not? Here's your proof. Hello. Hello. Hi ma'am, this is Jan. This is Jan Johnson, your own TV service provider. How are you? Did you call me, ma'am? Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah. Who's calling? What's this all about? 
Sir, I'm Sir, I'm calling from your TV service. You're on TV service provider. The TV service provider? Yes, sir. Okay, what's your name there, Home Slice? Sir, sorry, sir, what did you say? I said, what's your name? Sir, my name is James Johnson, and I'm calling from your TV service. James Johnson from TV service. What can I do for you, James? Sir, this is George Channing from Waiting Cold in Ponyo, Dad. We are going to change the frequency of your TV channel. Why are you doing that? Today. Why would you do that? Why would you change the frequency of my channels? Sir, because we are receiving so many complaints from the people in your area. Well, yeah, they probably about changing channels. stuff. What? Okay. Sir, your TV is on so I can save your TV channel. You can see my TV channels? Yes, yeah, I just saved your TV channel. Okay, I'm watching the Jetsons right now. Okay, sir. So please press the menu button twice, sir. What? I'm having nachos for dinner. Menu button. Uh. <laughs> the lens of the television camera acts like the iris of the human eye. It gathers in the light rays and focuses them on a mosaic of light-sensitive material that is built into the picture tube. The light-sensitive material converts the light into electrical impulses, a reaction varying with the strength of the light. The optic nerve of the camera picture tube is the electron beam controlled by electromagnets. The beam scans the picture which is on the plate in rapid sweeping motions from side to side, from top to bottom. When the beam hits the image, it loses varying amounts of electrons and then bounces back to the opposite end of the picture tube where it is amplified millions of times. It is led off to the transmitter in the form of electric current. The signals are broadcast as radio impulses into space. Heart of the receiving set is the kinescope. Here, the action is reversed. The stream of electrons, synchronized perfectly with those of the camera tube, literally paints the picture information on a chemically treated screen line by line. The glow is bright when the beam is strong, less bright when it is weak. Thus, the picture is reassembled. Hi, my name is Sam, calling from US Auto Care. How are you doing today? Uh, Sam, from where? Actually, the rates of auto insurance have recently dropped down in your area, so do you have a car? Oh yeah, I got a car. Where did you say you were calling from, Scam? We are calling from U.S. Auto Care. We are located in Texas. So, you do not, uh, you do, do you have a car? I just told you I have a car, Scam. Yeah, I got a car. Okay, by the way, sir, how old are you? I'm 67. Oh, 67 years old, okay. Sir, uh, my senior supervisor with me, he will assist you for the stay online, he will talk to you, all right? Talk to you okay there, Scam, thank you. Please, uh, just a minute, he's here. Okay. All right, sir. Uh, all right. Thank you so much for holding. This is Justin from US Auto Care. How are you? Uh, Justin, I'm good. Uh, how are you? I'm doing great, sir. Thank you so much for asking. Actually, the reason of this call is to let you know that the rates on auto insurance have been recently dropped by up to 45%. Okay. And I believe that you already have a car insurance, correct? Well, of course, uh, Justin. Uh, you have to have it just in case uh, you know you get in an accident, Justin. Yeah. Yeah. So as you already have a car insurance, we are not asking you to buy anything or purchase anything. We are just providing you a free no-obligation course 
just look at it if you find something better and affordable then you can call us back in the future otherwise there will be no cost and no obligation call you back in the so future I just need to confirm yeah okay well i couldn't very well call you back in the past at least not with the technology that we're running around here uh, okay then what do we have to do so how many cars do you own well i got uh, i got two cars and what is your zip code? A 60604. And the last thing from my side, how do you pronounce your first and your last name? Well, my first name is Peels. Can you spell your first name? P-E-E-L-S. And your last name? It's Potatoman. Can you spell? P O T A. T O M A N. Okay, got it. Yeah. Hey, say, Justin, what's your last name? Is, I feel like we've talked before. Is your last name Case? Is it Justin Case? Justin? Case? Hello? Hello, person. Good afternoon. Am I speaking with Timothy? Uh, yeah, who's calling, please? Great. Well, my name is John Miller, and I'm calling from the Winners International. How are you doing today, Timothy? Uh, John Miller, I'm good. Uh, what's uh, What can I do for you? All right. Well, the reason for my call today is in regards of three letters that were sent to your residence notifying you um, about the cash price that you have won yourself. Oh. Did you receive any letters from the Winners International? No, I haven't, didn't receive three letters at all from anybody about that. That I, that I, I don't think so. All right. And when was the last time you checked your mail? Today. Today? Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to be confirming the address that we send these letters to, okay? Okay. All right. The address is cave OF. Mount Road. Is that correct? I know that's my uh, ex-wife's house. That's, I built that house, uh, but my uh, ex-wife and I have divorced now, and she lives there. Oh, uh, also, probably she was the one who had been receiving those letters, right? Yep, yep. You probably sent her a bunch of letters about uh, winning stuff, yeah. So did she win some stuff, or did I win some no, stuff? No, it's just too much. Okay. Fun on Right? Uh, Mr. Fanon, right? That's right, Mr. Fanon, yes. Oh, uh, and she's not going to be notifying you that you're a winner, right? <laughs> uh, she's not going to be notifying me I'm a winner. I would be surprised by that. Yeah, she doesn't care for me much. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's the reason for her call, because we sent three letters. We never received a response. So this is the reason for my call, to find out if you're ready in receiving your cash rights. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, what's this, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever we got to do. All right, and unfortunately, because you have not received those letters, you're unaware of what you have won yourself. Is this Mr. Fanon? What? Because you say, uh, because you have not received those letters, that simply means that you're unaware of what you have won yourself. Is that correct? Well, if I didn't receive any letters, it's hard for me to know what's in them, I guess. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, um, Mr. Fallon, you have won yourself third place prize of the Winners International, which you'll be receiving a certified issues check with a sum of $2.5 million. Okay. Alongside it with a 2024 Mercedes-Benz. C-Class AMG Sports Series. Okay. Is this the first time you're here this Mr. Fanon? Oh, this time around, yeah, but I've gotten three or four other phone calls in the last year promising me uh, $2.5 million in a 2024 um, uh, Mercedes. Yeah, I get calls like this all the time, actually. All right, and what was the outcome? Oh, nothing ever really happened. I didn't. All right, I never sure. received the $2.5 million. And I never received right. the 2024 Mercedes Benz either. But they were from Published and Clearing House. From Publishers Clearance House? Yeah, Clearance House. All right, because we have been getting a lot of reports 
about person impersonating the employees of the Winners International really? and also the publisher's clearance out. So oh, okay. I'm not sure if it was one of those imposters that call. Could have been one. an imposter. All right, because before we even start any process, we ensure that the clients have your documentation, okay? Yeah. Well, yeah, you have to so, have documentation. Hello. Huh? Yeah. All right. So what's going to be taking place? Um, we're going to need an updated address for us to send out the uh, documentation. Okay. And also, if you have an email address, we can have the documentation sent to you within the next 15 minutes time period. Okay. All right. So do you have an active email address? Well, yeah, I don't know how to work it very well, though. The kids set it up before they went off to prison. At the Tim Fannin, the loose cannon at Yamail is what it is. But I, like, they'll send me stuff, and then they have to come over and open it. I don't really know how. I'm not very good with the computer. Oh, you're not pretty good with computers? Yeah. All right, so um, what is your updated address? That's 230 South Dearborn Street in Chicago, Illinois. It's two. Yeah. Continue. What? I'm um, repeating. It's two three zero South Dearborn Street. Uh huh. And the city is Chicago, right? That's right. And the code is six zero six zero four. Alright, and you said your email address was Tim Fannin? No, it's Tim Fannin, the loose cannon at Yamail. I think it's at Yamail. It's like the Gmail, but without the G. Oh, Ymail. Uh, okay. Is it one of those? Ymail, Yamail, Yao, Yamail? I thought it was Yamail. Oh, it's Yao. Yao? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's why I can't open it. I'm going to try to work with what I have. Right. Tim Fan. At... Yeah, well, I'm going to try that. Okay, so, no, it's, um, it's Tim. Uh, it's Tim, Tim Fannin, the loose cannon. That's what they used to call me back in the day when I was a young man working for the agency. They called me Tim Fannin, the loose cannon. Loose cannon? Yeah. No problem. I'm gonna have uh, email and the letters you sent to your documents, so I'm gonna be staying in contact with you, okay, Mister. Okay. Fannin? Yeah, that sounds great. What did you say your name was? Bill Miller or something? No, my name is John Miller. John Miller. Okay, John Miller. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. So yeah, the Jamaican jerk or Nigerian numbskull—they're back at it again. Can't wait till they call back. Hello. Hello. Yes, this is Sam. How are you doing? Sam, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Sure. Well, this... Yes. What? Okay. This short call is regarding future home renovation, and I believe I'm speaking with the home owner, right? I'm the home owner, yeah. What kind of renovations are we talking about there, Scam? Well, today we are offering a free estimate about home renovation, and this estimate is valid for next two years. So, oh. what do you want to renovate well, in your house? Well, there's like other there's bathroom. there's things that need to be renovated. Uh, what's the name of your company again? There, did you say scam? Future home renovation. Future home renovation. Uh, yes. I've never uh, heard of you. I've never heard of that company. Where are you located? I'm calling you from Miami, Florida. Miami? Oh, well, see, I live in Illinois, so it's going to take you guys an awful long time to get here from Miami. You think you can still do it uh, for a good price? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Well, sure, let's do this then. What What do we got to do? Uh, sir, right now, we are providing an estimate for free of cost. So if you are interested to renovate your house, in future so you can go ahead otherwise 
the estimate is free of cost. So what do you want to renovate in your house in future? Well, how about the roof? The roof needs to be renovated. Do you guys do roofs? Okay. So what's your zip code? 60604. Okay, so stay on the line. I'm patching this call to my senior supervisor, then he will further assist you, okay? The senior stupid weasel, right. How long you been working for this future renovations place there, Scam? How long How long you been working here? About seven years. Seven years? Wow, you must like it pretty well. That's great. Okay, so stay on the line, okay? Yeah, seven years. Wow, you must have started working for them when you were about, uh, I don't know, nine? Hello? Scam? Thanks for holding. This is Alex Parker. How are you doing today? Alex Parker, I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Well, your call is the server transfer to me regarding future home renovation. So I can see on the screen your zip code is 60604. Am I right? Yeah, 60604 for the renovations. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so are you residing in the state of Wisconsin? No, I live in Illinois. I used to live in Wisconsin, but uh, my ex-wife and I have got divorced. She's very unhappy with me. She tries to run me over with the golf cart. She tries to run me over with the car. She puts bleach in my food. So we got divorced, and now I live down in Chicago. Okay, sound good. So... How doesn't do sound you all that good to me. First and last name, sir? Well, my first name is Peels. Okay. And what's your last name? Potatoman. Can you spell it for me? P O T A T O M A N. Potatoman. Okay. okay, sound good. So I can see on the screen you are interested to get information about your roofing. Can yeah. you tell me how old are your roof? I don't know how old it are. I don't know. It's the same old shingles okay, so that's been on there the whole time I've lived here. Okay, so are you a homeowner? Yeah, I'm a homeowner. Okay, so is this a single family home or mobile home? No, it's not a mobile home. It's a single family. Okay, may I have your address? Well, it's 230 South Dearborn okay. Street. Okay. So where are you guys located? He said you were in uh, Miami? We are located in Miami, Florida, and we working with Nationwide, okay? Okay, because if you guys we are coming out of Miami, I mean, it's going to take you guys all day yeah. to get up here, you know, because it's a long ways. Okay, so you are perfectly qualified for oh, good. my side, so what can I do for you? I quickly connect your call to the roofing department and he will provide you a free estimate, okay? Okay, that sounds so fine. your number is not registered, any kind of national or state do not call list, okay? What? Now what kind of sense, to, what did you say? Even if it's not registered on a do not call list? Even, yes. Do you mean even if it is on the do not call list? Because even if it's not, doesn't make any sense. What are you... Even your number is not registered, any kind of national or state do not call list. Oh, okay? man, you're not making any it's sense at all. Annoying. What are you talking about? Does your company call people who are on the do not call list? Okay, so stay on the line. Here we go. Does your company call people who are on the do not call list? Hello? You've reached the roofing company. My name is Michael. May I have your name, please? The roofing company? Hello? Yes, this is the roofing company. And where are you located? Ma where is the roofing yes. company located? Because I'm in Chicago, and we everyone else problem. tells me that they're in, in uh, Miami. Are you in Miami? Hello? Hello? Ah, I pushed him a little too hard. He sounded like he was stateside. It would have been nice to know who we were getting through to. But again, they'll call back. 